y'all. What's up? I hope that you're having an awesome day. Today I'm coming at you with my two month post op update. So today is September 25th and obviously I am almost two weeks late from my post op actual date. I promise I will get on schedule and get this posted when I should. Um, but I do have more updates for you this month than I do last month. So this is my two month post op update. I had the VSG vertical sleep gastrectomy in Tijuana, Mexico with the Mexico Bariatric Center. My doctor was Dr. Rodriguez and I had my surgery July 13th of this year, 2018. I will have my stats listed in the description box down below in case you are interested in those. First and foremost, I do want to talk about my hormones and like how I feel like them changing. Um, I know the last video I did say, you know, it felt like nothing really changed. I had the surgery, I'm losing weight, and I don't feel any different. I'm not even kidding you. Two days after I posted that video, I got to work and I was crying non-stop. I don't know why. I just, I kept crying and crying and crying. I would not stop crying. I cried all morning at work. Like, I left. I had to leave work and go home. And I cried all day at home. So, I didn't really know what was going on with me. And then, two days later, one or two days later, that Friday, I had actually gotten my period. And that's pretty huge for me because, okay, a little backstory. Um, I um, I have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. So I have cysts on my ovaries, and that causes a hormonal like imbalance. You know, it's I'm not producing estrogen. I'm not ovulating. Um, I haven't had a period in years, years and years. Um, with, you know, unless it was with the help of a hormonal medication, my body has never, not never, my body has not had a period itself in a very long time. And then out of nowhere, I got one, which is huge for me because I have been told by several doctors that I most likely will not be able to get pregnant. I won't be able to have kids, conceive, anything like that. I have heard a lot of success stories about women being able to become pregnant even though they had polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, but it was, it completely threw me for a loop. I went through a whole wave of emotions whenever, you know, I started and I was like, holy crap, like that was kind of like the first time that I was like, this surgery is doing so much good for me. I still can't even believe it. So it it definitely threw me and I mean I'm not a lot of women are super happy whenever they get their period and I mean I, I kind of was because that does mean that my body is changing and it's reacting and you know really only good can come from this at this point. I'm I'm really excited and I mean you know me and my husband we've always dreamed about having a family and not always. I'll back that up. Whenever we first got together, we were like, no, no kids, none for us, we're good. But over the past, you know, the last couple years, the last few years, we have really wanted a family. And it was never possible. I mean, it wasn't. We tried and it was not happening at all, whatsoever. But now, hopefully, we're getting back on track, and, or my body is getting back on track, maybe... We'll be able to tell y'all that we're having a baby, so that it's so exciting. Whenever I think about it, I'm still kind of in shock because I, I mean, I didn't think that I would be able to. I was told by many doctors, like, hey, you're not having kids. And, you know, whenever I was 16, 17 and heard that, I was like, cool, I don't want kids anyways, that's fine with me, but... Yeah, and there is medications that you can get on, you know, through your doctor that would help with that. I have tried medication before. I was on a birth control and a couple other medications, and it made me so sick. So, I mean, so incredibly sick. I just felt 
absolutely horrible. So I, I stopped taking the medications. I wasn't getting periods. And so yeah, here we are today. And I had my first period. So that's definitely one huge thing that happened since the surgery. Um, I have noticed that I am getting fuller a lot faster whenever I eat. I feel like during my first month, I was eating a lot. Like, I felt like I was eating too much, which I know that I wasn't. But I felt like I was eating a lot. But now, I, you know, I'll take a few bites of something and I'm completely full. So I feel like I'm just getting fuller a lot faster. And I don't know, it could be because I was eating like soft foods and mushy foods and stuff like that and now I'm eating like full solid food so maybe the full solid foods is helping me get fuller faster. Speaking of, I haven't eaten, I only ate half of this thing which I'm going to show you um, some of my like high protein things that I like eating. Um, my absolute favorite protein bar that I have found, I have not found any of them that I like as much as this one and I buy this all the time. It is the Power Crunch brand, and it has 13 grams of protein, 5 grams of sugar, and 10 carbs. Um, I eat one or two of those a day. I'll usually eat one for breakfast and then one like in the afternoon. It's awesome if I'm craving something sweet. They have a ton of different flavors. Um, my favorite flavor is the peanut butter fudge one, um, and I do also like the regular chocolate one. I haven't really adventured out of many other flavors to get out of my comfort zone, but this is where it's at. Um, I haven't seen this before. I got it and I tried it this morning. It's it's okay. Um, it is by the brand Flapjacked and it still has a spoon in it because I was eating it this morning. But it is the Flapjacked Mighty Muffin. It has 20 grams of protein. All you do is add a little bit of water, you microwave it for 30 seconds and you're good to go. Um, it is gluten free and let me see here. It does have quite a few carbs in it. It has 21 grams of carbs for the whole container. Um, and it has 10 grams of sugar. So it's not something that I would eat all the time. And I would definitely try to limit my carbs after that. It was okay. I was able to eat half of it. I mean, I still have, you know, quite a few. Ooh. But at the store, they had a bunch of different flavors, and this was the flavor double chocolate. So it's just like a chocolate muffin in a cup. It was pretty good. I mean, it, it's definitely you can taste like that kind of protein like taste. If you eat like high protein stuff like that, you know what I'm talking about. But it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, I was able to eat half of it, so maybe I'll eat the other half for like dessert later. Um, another thing that I like to eat in the mornings is this from Jimmy Dean. It is the Simple Scrambles, and I get the bacon. It's like bacon, egg, and cheese. Um, this has 24 grams of protein in it, um, two carbs, and less than one gram of sugar. Um, I can usually, I can only eat half of this whenever I eat it. And I also add some green onion and some spinach in whenever I'm cooking that. Um, and I like it. I mean, it's an easy breakfast. It makes me full and I have a snack for later too. Um, so that's just a couple of the, you know, things that I like to eat that are just easy meals. Um, other times, you know, I'll eat regular eggs or boiled egg or, you know, we'll get like a rotisserie chicken and I'll just like munch on some chicken. That's kind of you know, just a little bit of an insight of some high protein things that I have found that are pretty good. Since my surgery, I have been getting more back pain. Um, I didn't really have too much back pain before the surgery. Um, I mean, I would have lower back pain and I, you know, that's just because I was really overweight and really heavy and I had lower back pain. Um, but now I don't really have lower back pain as much. My back pain is like in the middle and upper parts of my back and it is so bad to where, I mean, I want to cry. I really do. Yesterday at work and last week, I mean, it was so bad. I just, I want to lay down on the floor and cry because my back hurts so bad. Um, I am thinking about going to a chiropractor to get an adjustment and see if that can help me. Um, I mean, right now my back hurts really really bad I cannot 
even describe the amount of pain that I'm in. But I have, I don't know, I've learned, I, I don't like to bitch and whine about stuff. That's just the kind of person I am. I mean, I'm the type of person who will suffer in silence unless I'm around my mom and I become a giant baby. Um, but I'm, I've had an extreme amount of back pain and I, with the support groups that I'm with, I have noticed that other people saying that they've had like joint pain or back pain. Some people say that their doctors have said that, you know, it's just from us losing weight and our bodies are carrying ourselves differently, which, you know, I can kind of, I can see that. Definitely hoping, you know, to go to a chiropractor and get an adjustment. Maybe that would help with my situation because I'm, I'm really uncomfortable a lot of the time. Some non-scale victories. Um, I have been able to fit into a pair of jeans that I've had for over a year. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Another non-scale victory that I had was I am able to sit Indian style comfortably without my legs going to sleep after 10 minutes. Um, that might not sound really big to some people, but for me, being overweight for as long as I have, I haven't sat Indian style comfortably since I was probably in elementary school. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And just I've just noticed the way that like if I sit in a chair or something, the way that I feel is different. Um, you know, I don't sit in a chair and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna break it if I move or anything like that. Um, I just, I'm starting to feel more comfortable in my body and that just, it's huge to me. That means so much to me that I'm finally starting to feel a difference. Um, I am 52 pounds down. That is including my pre-op diet, the weight that I lost from there, because I did lose 20 pounds over my pre-op diet. So I have lost about 32 pounds since surgery. But I know I, I'm kind of a slow loser, but I'm okay with that because I am still losing. I have broken stalls and I've got into more stalls, um, but I'm, I'm still happy with my progress and how it's going. So I'm not giving up or anything like that. I'm going to keep at it and I know that I just have to increase my protein and increase my water intake and that is what breaks my stalls. And I know that's what breaks a lot of people's stalls. So if you are stalled, increase your water and increase your protein and it will definitely help. So before I go, I do want to give a super special shout out to one of my subscribers. Her name is Vanessa Zaragoza. Zaragoza. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, but she had commented on one of my videos and was asking about an update. And I just want to give a special shout out because knowing that someone wants to see an update from me and, you know, I know that you want to see and I know that you want to hear from me. That means so much to me. And it really, like, kicked my ass in gear to get this film today. I mean, I've had a really crappy day. And my Allure Beauty Box for September video that I also filmed today, like, if you watch that video, it'll probably be up after this. I tell you about my day. It has been terrible. But even though I had a crappy day, just knowing that there is someone out there that wants to see and wants to hear from me. It makes me so motivated. So I do want to say thank you, Vanessa. And I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that everyone enjoyed today's video. So I hope that y'all have an awesome day. If you do have any special questions for me, any requests, definitely leave them down below. I would love to film a video with anything that you're wanting to know or want me to do. If you do have any specific questions for me um, and you don't want to put it in the comment section, you can always email me or DM me on my other socials and those will be listed down below. So, I hope that you have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.